I tried to think of the most harmless thing, something I loved from my childhood, something that could never, ever possibly destroy us. Mr. Stay Puffed. We used to roast Stay Puffed marshmallows on the fire at Camp Wakanda. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, this is Stay Puffed, the collectible figure. So, as you guys can see, we're at the new studio. Uh, finally got most of the way moved in. Uh, we've still got a few other things, but we're getting there slowly but surely. I figured it's been about a month since I last uh, did a review. So I'd go ahead and uh, review this thing. This guy that my wife got me. The Stay Puffed collectible figure. I really like the box. It's got the uh, hazard uh, decals on the top and bottom all the way around. Classic Ghostbusters. Uh, Ghostbusters classic Stay Puffed figure built by Culture Fly. Uh, made in China. 2019 Columbia Pictures Industries Incorporated. All rights reserved. Uh, my wife did pick this guy up at GameStop. It was about 25 bucks. And believe it or not, this is my very first Stay Puft Marshmallow Man ever. Uh, I never managed to get one as a kid. Uh, all my friends had one. Uh, but I never got one. I did, however, have multiple Proton Packs and the other real Ghostbusters figures. Um stuff like that but I never managed to find a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man so anyway there's the top of the box pretty cool let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at Mr. Stay Puffed. I have not decided yet if I want to leave him in the box for display or take him out and it looks like I may end up displaying him outside of the box because he does come with a display stand which looks pretty cool. I don't know. We'll see. All just depends. Let's go ahead and take a look at this display stand. As you can see, it comes in half a clamshell. Has two pegs there. There's the front. Bottom, built by Culture Fly, made in China, Ghostbusters, 2019, Columbia Pictures Industries, Incorporated, all rights reserved. Nice Ghostbusters logo there. Uh, they did not do a black outline around the uh, no ghost symbol. They did it around the ghost itself, but not around the no sign. Uh, I think it would have uh, looked a little bit better with a black outline. But, so, but that's just my own personal preference. Uh, solid gray color. It is a hollow plastic. Set that down. And then we'll take a look at this for Stay Puffed. He comes in a clamshell, kind of. Uh, just this piece here. Remove it. Just slides right off. And then we'll take Mr. Stay Puffed out of the package. And here he is. He has no articulation at all. And I don't know. He He's very light. Uh, very much reminiscent of a vinyl figure. Uh, he could be vinyl. He could very well be vinyl. Uh, I am, however, afraid that if you were to drop him, he might break. Uh, it feels somewhat fragile. Uh, I made the mistake when moving in. My uh, Ray stands from Ghostbusters 2 end up getting knocked off of my shelf and landed on the uh, concrete floor in the office where we're at right now. And the heel of his boot broke off and the wires going to his 
proton wand and the proton pack. I mean, not the proton pack, but the uh, ghost trap snapped. I was very disappointed about that. Uh, I am going to try and find his heel eventually that broke off uh, and super glue it back on. And then eventually super glue the wires back together. But I was very disappointed about that. Uh, wasn't too happy. I'd hate to see that happen to my very first Mr. Stay Puffed. Now, the paint job on this guy is fantastic. Very nice, crisp lines. No bleed over, really. Uh, unless you count right around the head area there's a little bit right there but that's a very difficult spot to paint anyway not bad the lines are very very clean and crisp uh that was the only spot i can see where the paint kind of bled um and as you can see this is where uh the ghostbusters tried Firing their proton wands at them, at him. He's got some scorch marks there. That actually looks like burnt marshmallow. <laughs> That's very cool. And he's got the. You tried to do what? <laughs> look to look at you know. Uh, let's see if that will focus. Come on, focus. There we go. There's the focus. All right. Too much stuff going on in the background. Um, <laughs> had to autofocus. Very nice. Like I said, no articulation at all. No arm movement, no head movement, no leg movement. Um, still very solid. Very nice sculpt. Uh, excellent paint. Let's go ahead and place them on the stand. You got the holes in his feet, shaped exactly like the peg hole pegs here. And they don't line up. Huh. So I guess. When I won't be able to display them out of the box. I mean, I guess I still could. I could put them like that. But it seems they placed the wrong stand. It seems they. His legs, his legs aren't far enough apart. For this number one and the holes on the bottom of his feet are too small to fit on the pegs uh, that's disappointing however if you stand him up just like that on the display stand his feet do hide the pegs so oh maybe i'll display them just like that uh, i guess it could be worse uh, I could have got him out of the package and parts could have been broken or whatever. Um, so because of that, I'm going to mark down my uh, rating on this. Uh, simply because they put in the wrong stand. So it, really, that's the only downfall to this figure. The uh, display stand. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it around with him on here. So I can show you how I've got him. Yeah, see that it just... His foot doesn't even go down on this one. It goes down on that one. Oh, 
which they're two different sizes. I don't know if they glued them on wrong. As you can see, fits fine on that one, but it's on the wrong foot. <laughs> See if this one fits. Nope, that one's smaller. Huh. So he fits on that one just fine. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't think I want to display him like that. Uh, so that. I'll take a point off for that. Uh, I'll, gi I'll give a, a eight, 8 out of 10. Not bad. Mostly crisp lines. You got that one right there, which docks at a point. And then the pegs, which dock at a point. So an 8 out of 10. Uh, if you guys have this figure, let me know if you have the, if you found the same problem. With the display stand uh, it could be just mine who knows but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video in the new studio and i hope to film another video real soon from the new studio we've got multiple angles we can use we got multiple backgrounds we can use now so uh take care geeks hey guys if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, don't forget to like and share with your friends. I'm Shannon from Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.